Merry Christmas, everyone. You may recognize this. This is a Santa Yoda, which was originally, I guess, created by Ralph McQuarrie for a 1981 Lucasfilm Christmas card. And it showed him uh, very much like this with a sack of presents on his back. He's got a little drum and a doll and a horn and so forth there. This was made by Kurt S. Adler a few years ago, and I really like this piece, actually. It's basically a statue. It's not a figure, per se. Uh, but what I like about it, uh, probably most of all, is the combination of uh, Star Wars characters and Christmas. I've always liked that, and it's uh, got a long history, as I mentioned, with Lucasfilm doing this kind of thing since the 80s, at least. So, um... What I'd like to do today for my Christmas episode is to introduce some 3D printable action figures that Vivid Motion Customs has created and has been releasing for free, one at a time, uh, one per day, as a sort of virtual advent calendar. Now, most of them have already been released, and so they're now back to being paid uh, models, but I still think it's worth looking at. Uh, they're actually very clever models that he's come up with, very clever concepts. So what I'm going to do in this video is uh, introduce all of those ones that he's done up until now, and then uh, show you what I have done with some of those figures myself, which you may have gotten a little bit of a preview of if you've seen the, uh, the thumbnail for this video. So let's go ahead and first of all look at what he's been doing. I know how hard it is to come up with an advent calendar of this kind. I actually, for the first couple years of the channel, did virtual advent calendars where I'd make one video per day of advent, and making like 24 videos is difficult in a short amount of time, so I can appreciate how difficult it would be to uh, come up with concepts for all of these figures the way that Vivid Motion Customs has done. So let's go ahead and check out his selection of figures, and as I say, I'll then show you what I did with them. I think that maybe the easiest thing to do is to just literally look at the Cults 3D website here and see Vivid Motion Customs page where he has listed all of the advent calendar figures that he's been releasing. This one uh, is, of course, Darth Vader on an old-fashioned sled. Which, uh, interesting juxtaposition there of the vintage Darth Vader figure and the sled. I really like that. I'd like to see that one painted up. Most of these uh, he has painted, by the way, but uh, for whatever reason this one is not. We have next the Grinch, or I should say Salacious as the Grinch. Salacious Crumb uh, as if he were the Grinch, which is, I think, a pretty cool mashup. I, I never would have occurred to me to make, but uh, it works really well, I think. Next we have here the Trash Compactor Monster, otherwise known as the Dianoga sticking his little eye out of a stocking, which is pretty cool. We've got a snow trooper on a snowboard, which makes sense for sure. He seems happy about it. Next up, we've got some Jawas on a toboggan. Probably don't get a lot of sledding on snow on Tatooine, but maybe they could use it on the sand. Here are some protocol droids, C-3PO and whoever this one is supposed to be. He's actually given us a couple of different versions here, one with some Christmas lights down here on his wiring section and one without those. I really like this idea of uh, the lights personally. And of course, uh, this is meant to be uh, an elf, Santa's elf, so he's even got little pointy ears. Here we have one that, Honestly, I had not really even recognized when I first saw it, because I have not seen A Christmas uh, Vacation, the movie, for a long time. But this is uh, Cousin Eddie and Luke Skywalker kind of mashed up together. Interesting concept. Uh, it doesn't quite resonate with me because I barely remember the character, but for some people it might. This is uh, Wampa as Bumble, or maybe it's the other way around. Bumble from the... Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer stop-motion TV specials, you may recall. So there we have those two put together. We've also got a regular Stormtrooper on skis. We've got a Wicket, Wicket the Ewok, as the uh, 
sort of sidekick of the Grinch. That was a dog named Max, who he had strapped an antler to to uh, make him into a reindeer. We've got, let's see, this is actually an ice fishing rebel soldier. So he's wearing these uh, snowshoes and he's got all the equipment that you would need to drill through the ice. We've got a Nutcracker Stormtrooper, which apparently actually has a functioning Nutcracker mechanism, although I wouldn't try to use it to actually crack any nuts, but still it's pretty cool that he was able to pull that off, and I think it works pretty well too. I'd like to see something like this, uh, you know, maybe curved, carved out of wood or something. We have the Emperor as Krampus, which is inspired. I really think that is uh, a cool idea. We've got uh, the TR-33 droid, Tri. This is, uh, of course, a droid dressed up like a Christmas tree with all kinds of interesting ornaments. We see the Millennium Falcon here and a TIE fighter and all kinds of things like that. This one looks like it maybe just has the, uh, just the Christmas lights on it, but this one has some other stuff. I really like that idea. Here we have uh, Lando riding the Millennium Falcon's radar dish as if it were a sled. Here we have the BLWR blower gonk droid who is literally a snow blowing gonk droid and he's also got a uh, snow plow maybe or so well, I guess that's just part of the snow blowing mechanism isn't it but uh, yeah pretty cool. We've got the three wise men in the form of Obi-Wan, Anakin Skywalker, and Yoda here. These ones not painted, of course, but still. Uh, we've got Luke Skywalker as a menorah, which is not something I would, thought I would ever say, but I'm glad to see that they've uh, managed to, you know, have a little inclusivity there, include uh, some Hanukkah things as well. This is a uh, North Pole greeter droid. Has a little North Pole sign and some candy canes, I guess, to give to people who are visiting Santa. Here we have a Gamorrean guard riding on an inner tube, which sometimes people will use to, you know, sled down uh, the snow. Here we have R2-D2 as Frosty the Snowman. I think that's also pretty cute. Let's see if we can see him from the side there. Yeah, he's got like carrots and things worked into his uh, design, which I think is pretty funny. Here's a Wookiee on a snowboard, Chewbacca on a snowboard. Uh, yeah, I mean, not much else to say there. I like his little uh, go goggles. This is the Abominable Ewok, a combination of an Ewok and an Abominable Snowman. We've got Leia as a figure skater. We've got IG-88 as an ice hockey player. And we've got an Ewok as Ralphie from the Christmas Story movie. And uh, that's certainly an interesting combination there. Of course, you may recall that he was forced to wear these uh, pink rabbit pajamas in the movie. But he also had the, uh, what was it, the Red Rider BB gun that he wanted for Christmas. So got both of those there. Definitely a very creative combination. In addition to what I just showed you, we've got three more models coming up. Two of them are going to be coming on Christmas Eve, and that is uh, Ula and Leia as Java's Prisoner. Those, by the time this video goes up, should be available for free to download from Cults 3D, so just check the link in the video description. And then on Christmas Day, there's going to be a special figure, uh, which is Jabba Claus. And I'm going to be actually giving you a preview of that. You can also get that one for free on Christmas Day. And I guess he's going to extend that to the day after Christmas, uh, just in case people have trouble. You know, you don't want to necessarily have to rush to download something on Christmas Day. So uh, I would recommend that you go ahead and do that. Or if you missed any of these, they're not very expensive. $2.99. This one is free as I'm recording this, but probably will be $2.99 by the time the video actually comes out. Uh, not very expensive figures. They're kind of fun to play with and to paint. Speaking of paint, uh, as I said, I did paint a few of these. I didn't have time to do as many as I would have liked, but I did pick out some of the favorites, uh, especially the ones related to Java. So I'd like to show you those now. So this is what I managed to create using 
Vivid Motion Customs, Advent Calendar figures. I wasn't able to print as many of them as I might have liked to, just didn't have the time, but I think I printed some that looked good together. You know, these make sense as a little scene that I've got here. We've got them all in a kind of winter wonderland kind of scene, which is what's, I guess, happening at a lot of places around the U.S. as I make this video. It's currently Christmas Eve, and lots of places are being hit pretty hard by winter storms. Hopefully you are safe and warm somewhere. Basically, I chose, obviously, Java Claws there in the center. That was uh, a no-brainer. But I also thought that his elves, Leia and C-3PO, would be good choices to accompany him. The Ula figure did not come out until just like a day or two before I was ready to finish up this video, so I didn't have time to include her, unfortunately. We also have, of course, Salacious Crumb as the Grinch, I guess an associate of Jabba Claws, I'll say, and then Max's little sidekick just because, you know, it seemed like a, a good matchup with those two. I decided to make them, as I said, in this kind of winter scene, so I thought I needed something to kind of tie it all together, so I decided I'd find some 3D models for Christmas presents online. I did find some on CG Trader, but I wouldn't recommend them. I'm not even going to link to the guy who sold them to me because they required a lot of work to get them uh, the way that I wanted them to be. I ended up making lots of different sizes from the original uh, present models that I did get, but it ended up being, to get them ready for printing, uh, almost was more work than just designing them myself or maybe modeling them myself from scratch somehow, you know, physically and not digitally. But anyway, I was kind of committed at that point, so I went ahead and used these. Um, as you can see, let's see, this is a good example here. I used, whoops, I used some epoxy resin, or it's basically just epoxy glue mixed with sand and white paint to kind of make it look like there was snow clinging to parts of the present, and then I flicked everything, including the figures, with some white paint to make it look like there was snow on them. I wasn't entirely sure if I should do that, especially with the figures, but I think it does help tie everything together. Uh, not everything came out exactly the way I wanted it to, but that's all right. That's the way these things go. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at these figures individually a little bit more closely. We've got here, of course, C-3PO the Elf. Uh, these bases, by the way, one reason I decided to use bases in the first place was that a couple of these guys had a little trouble standing up. The Grinch, in particular, has very tiny feet. And I thought, well, you know, might as well add these action figure bases so that they could stand up. And then I decided to uh, add some, again, sand and epoxy glue to give a snowy texture to this base. And then I added the presents as well, just as kind of accent pieces. But I think it, it worked out pretty well, actually. If we want to look a little bit closer, we can see he's got his uh, elf ears and everything, and the, the little uh, Christmas lights. I really like that touch. Next up, we have Leia, who was a bit of a problem for me. A lot of, you know, it's Leia, this uh, prisoner Leia in particular, is a difficult figure to paint, there's a lot of detail there, and then I had some trouble printing her joints, so they didn't quite go in properly. You can see there's a little bit of a, you know, a gap there, but overall, not too bad. I did kind of mess up the snow, didn't mean to get as much on her face as I did, but uh, oh well. I do think the base turned out pretty well, though. can look at the Grinch. Again, I really think this was a clever idea to mash these guys up. I decided not to make him green colored as the Grinch would be and just use sort of the normal salacious crumb colors, but I think you can tell who he's supposed to be. And finally, well not finally, we have 
the final of the uh, the smaller figures. We have Max or Wicket as Max, and this was a relatively easy paint job because he's not you know he's small and there's not a lot going on there. But I think it turned out pretty decently. And of course, the star of the show is none other than Jabba Claus here. I decided to print the one with the plain tail instead of the variants that uh, he also includes, which have uh, one has a, like a big boot on the tail, which is funny, but it looked a little weird just to have one boot. So I decided, you yeah, know, maybe not. And there's also one with a bell, which was cute too, but I was afraid it wouldn't print well. So I just went with the standard tail, but I did go with the uh, candy cane that he's holding there. And again, put some snow on him as if he's waiting out in the snow to deliver some presents to uh, good little girls and boys all over the uh, all over the galaxy, I suppose. I don't really know. I haven't come up with a uh, you know, a backstory for Jabba Claus exactly, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, uh, Funny story, I when I went out to the garage to do this kind of paint flicking for the snow effect, I had found that the paint that I was planning to use out in the garage had actually frozen solid. It is quite cold here right now, as it is in many places around the U.S. So, again, hope you're staying warm. Um, hope you enjoy looking at these very cool Advent figures that Viv in Motion Customs has been giving away. And uh, check out today's figure, which will be against uh, Leia and Ula. And then tomorrow's Christmas Day will be Jabba Claus himself. So even if you don't have a printer now, you can always download it and save it for later. Or you ask someone else to print it off or something like that. So lots of fun. Thanks very much for watching and have a Merry Hutmas. This very merry edition of Mighty Jabba's Collection was brought to you by my patrons from Patreon, including these Palace VIPs, Angelica Brady and Jesper Murtu. Thank you very much for your support throughout the year, and hopefully beyond as well. If you'd like to know how you can help support the channel, maybe you've got a little Christmas or Hanukkah money saved up, and you'd like to spend one dollar of that money per month to support Mighty Jabba's Collection, you can do that by going to the link in the video description. Thanks very much, and have a Happy New Year.